So we've said that Google Ads is amazingly trackable and we've decided that we're going to use data to make our decisions, not gut feel. But what should you actually then track? Because the number of things that you could track is pretty vast. But when you're starting out, I'm going to suggest you start with the simple stuff and start with just one thing. And that is people that fill in a particular form on your website. Now, if you're an e-commerce store owner, then that form obviously is going to be the shopping cart itself. And we can get all kinds of funky there. We can actually pass through the, the revenue, the total amount that somebody spent with you. We can pass that back to Google as a revenue amount and therefore make changes based on how much revenue we got for each click rather than just did we make a sale or not because a $20 sale is very different from a $6,000 sale. We actually need to know the revenue involved. For our lead gen websites, we're probably going to track some sort of thank you page. So you probably have a form on your site, probably on the contact us page. When somebody fills in that form, hopefully they go to a different URL, and you know that by looking at the top of the browser, a different URL, some form of thank you page that says, thanks for filling in your details, we'll be in touch soon, and here's what you can do next. Now, depending on how your website is put together, you may or may not have a thank you page, but talk to your web developer. There will be a way where you can basically what's called fire a little piece of code so that when somebody does what you want them to, i.e. fill out the form, even if they don't go to a thank you page, but let's stick with that example, it's it's easier to, to picture in our minds. When they land on that thank you page, and again, talk to your friendly web geek if you don't have one, but when they land on the thank you page, a little piece of code fires that has a chat back to Google and says, hey, remember that person that, that clicked on the ad 20 minutes ago? Well, they just did what we wanted them to do. They just filled out the form. We got another one. Hey, put a tick next to that keyword and that ad and that ad group and that campaign. Put a tick next to that stuff that caused this person to visit so that we know that was a good one. Um, let's go back to our property conveyancing lawyer. So imagine coming back into our Google account. You probably wouldn't do this, but just imagine you, you don't look at it and you come back a month later. And you only had two keywords. And there was a property conveyancer, and that now has 10 conversions. A conversion is just somebody did what you wanted them to do. 10 conversions next to it. And then you have another keyword, property lawyer, with zero conversions. Now you know which one you want to increase the bid for and which one you want to decrease the bid or even delete out of the account completely because we're tracking the input, how much money we're spending, and the output. What do we get as a result of this? And we're going to call that a conversion. In Google Analytics, if you're familiar with Google Analytics, it's called a goal in Google Analytics. In Google Ads, it's called a conversion. And we can set up lots and lots of different conversions. The second one you might set up would probably be phone calls and and phone calls coming into your business. Well, that's a bit harder to set up. There's more code involved. So I'm going to suggest... This is Google Ads Fundamentals, remember, not mastery, that we just track people filling out that important form on the website. And how we do that is we put a little piece of code on the thank you page. So when someone lands on the Contact Us page, nothing has happened. But only those people that successfully make it through that form, make it to the other side, i.e. people that land on the thank you page, only those people get tracked. And we do that by having a little piece of code that talks to Google and says, yep, I've got another one. Mark that one as good. So let's talk about how we do that in the next video.